Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to ServiceNow 911. Today we discuss one more topic of ServiceNow CMDB that is reclassification of CIs. First of all, what is classification of CI? It is placing a particular CI into a group that is a class. is known as classification. These classes share same attributes like we have servers, network devices, and all and all. Okay. So now, what is reclassification? It is again changing. the class of a particular ci okay based on certain condition based on certain circumstances is known as reclassification so now you will ask why we are doing reclassification so there can be n number of reasons to reclassify a particular class it is because it is outdated it is because it is upgraded along with that there are various factors and the main factor is how you classified your class let's say you have classified the classes based on location so if a particular location change for a particular device then you have to reclassify it second option can be ownership let's suppose you have designed okay the ci network based on the ownership now a particular ci ownership is changed then you have to reclassify it so based on your organizational structure the structure of your cmdb you have the options to change and you have to change it because if you do not change as per the environment then you will get inaccurate data and that is uh, not at all good for a particular cmdb okay so now this is the question why we have to change or why we are changing the class of a particular ci okay so now let me show you one example in service now where we have to make the change so this is our table so before changing the class let me tell you what will happen if you change a class of a particular ci in service now so in that case the ci can be upgraded the ci hierarchy can be degraded okay so this sort of things will happen along with that so the ci record will be deleted from the old class and a new record will be created for the same ci in the new class this is one thing secondly if the old class is having certain unique attributes certain unique things and which are not present you know in the second class that is a new class in that case that data will be lost this is one of the most important consequences whenever you change the class of a particular ci so you have to keep all this in mind and then you have to uh, like go forward okay so now without any delay let me pick up one of the class let's say this one okay let's uh, select this one let me open this class so now let me change this computer to server okay select it okay done okay so now if we come to this record you see these all things are changed you can see the changes here okay omendra singh has modified it because this record is now inserted into the server table you will see this is no more this right let me reload this you see it is changed from computer to server so the record is not there in the computer table it is now inserted into the server table with certain changes what all changes let me show you go to the history of this particular record so here you see these are the five or six updates which are done by my name and it happened today just now right and you see under these old values are only having one here that is server it means new attributes are added to this particular class and old data is vanished completely that is the old record of that particular computer ci is now deleted so ladies and gentlemen this is how we do reclassification however service now strongly recommend not to do reclassification until unless you are very much clear because as you know it will redo most of the things it will delete it will lead to data loss which is one of the most important and uh, you know crucial consequences of changing the class of a particular ci so if you are okay with this then you can go ahead otherwise you have to think some other option so this is reclassification i hope you like it let me know what else you want let me know your doubts subscribe to the channel thank you so much bye bye